Hello. Today, I would like to make a semi-quick video on the new support gem, Fresh Meat. On the surface, it looked insane, and that is why I leak started a Fresh Meat Zombie Mancer. But I'm here to tell you that it has some issues. Now, let's start off with the benefits, in that this support probably does three times more damage than any other support you can do. And that is through the 4% base crit that it gives, which for zombies with a base crit 5 is 80% more crit. It also gives crit damage, giving us 70, which roughly is 20% more crit damage. It also gives our minions adrenaline, which is 100% increased damage, which again is 20 percent more damage comparatively to our other increased amounts of damage and finally it gives 25 percent increased attack speed which is 20 percent more attack speed in my current setup so overall this support is giving my character i would estimate 1.3 to 1.4 times damage and since this support is not in POB yet, I don't have exact exact numbers, but it's a rough estimate. So once again, on the surface, this support seemed really, really, really insane. But there are lots of issues that come along with this support. The first issue is that when you summon a minion, it has a spawn animation. So you have to kill the minion, which could be close to its speed time, but knocking that off. And then for it to raise up out of the ground takes roughly half a second. And then once you spawn a minion, it has to smartly target the enemy and then run up to it and hit it. Thus, the downtime and the animation that it takes is roughly a second out of this 10 second buff that you get from the support, resulting in 10% less damage. Also, since you have to spawn these minions every one second at least, if you were going to run this support, you need to invest into mana. And so I have to run a high level clarity, which takes up a gem socket and mana reservation, along with other additional nodes on the tree that gives me increased mana. Thus, the opportunity cost of me running a bunch of mana stuff is 20% less damage. Also, since I am basically spam summoning minions, the default AI of these minions is pretty bad, and this is typically overcome by a character cursing the enemy, and thus the AI typically targets the cursed targets, but since we're auto-cursing through the Veiled Crafted mod that auto-casts spells in your weapons, this is not the case. Thus, this bad AI is very apparent during mapping, but less so during bosses, but is still a detriment to our damage of roughly 20%. And just so the math equals out, the opportunity cost of using this support versus the typical regular 40% increased damage support is technically less damage. But the biggest issue I see is that when playing this support, you are extremely limited on your mobility, which results in you being less tanky because Path of Exile and Standing Still is not a good combination. So since we don't have really any cast speed, since we're not a caster, we just summon things, it takes 0.7 seconds to summon each minion. And since we have to summon roughly 8 to 10 minions every 10 seconds, then our downtime is roughly 50% where we're just standing there and summoning minions. And as you can see by the boss kill in the background, since I have to pretty much constantly run during the eater fight or I get hit by the fast hitting tentacles, there are several close calls just because of this requirement to cast. So, all in all, if you add up all the numbers, the benefits of way more damage isn't as big as you might think, as I would estimate, at least in my current setup, fresh meat is equivalently as strong as just a normal support. But, in my opinion, this would change if I had a Mageblood. So, like many other builds out there, Mageblood is the king for those builds, and continues to be the king for this build. And that is because... A lot of the negative downsides of running the support are mitigated by a mage blood. And that is the mana investment issue is mitigated, as when you run a mage blood, you can have a reduced mana flask, reducing the amount of mana that you use significantly. Thus, this amount of mana investment is not needed. Thus, the mage blood would give you roughly 15% more damage just due to this. Additionally, if you run a mage blood with silver flask that has cast speed on it. This would give you an insane 70% increased cast speed, along with probably putting cast speed on your weapons, just so that your downtime is lower. You could summon all 10 minions within a span of probably 3 seconds, thus the downtime of you not moving would be way lower. And this would fix the less tankiness due to not moving, but also it would fix the bad AI, because for the other 7 seconds, you could curse or do other spells to better organize your minions. But also, with a mage blood, you could also run a Quicksilver Flask and run around to better spots faster, and thus be safe to summon your minions even if you were stationary. So, even though many people don't want to hear it, <laughs> I would suggest this support if you have a Mage Blood and not really any other time. So, that's my conclusion.
If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments and I'll get to them. Thanks.